Here's how I made a planetary defense force. Recently, I've had a hankering for a game like Space Station Zero, Majestic 13, or Stargrave. I'ma need a crew. I decided that a planetary defense force might even work in them all. The heavy lifting for the kit bash is from the Maker's Cult's Universal Guard line. Some are straight up with no kit bashing, and some had light conversions. For example, for the captain, all I did was a simple head swap. The medic, I took a female guard model and added a medic backpack from another kit. The ogren had a little more to it. I took a Jade Coalition Juggernaut Torso, a Valor Core Ab Human Arm and Gun, and then scaled up a Universal Guard Flamer Head. I ended up cutting off the Valor Core logo with a hobby knife post printing, but it may save time just using the Smooth tool in sculpting mode if you don't want to worry too much about it. I also had to fill the gap between his arms and torso with green stuff, which wasn't too hard, but I didn't do a very clean job of it. I ended up making six guys with plans to add more in the future. Kitbashing is kinda like making a puzzle. Speaking of puzzles, thanks to today's sponsor, Mosabrick. Mosabrick is a pixel art picture that you assemble yourself using a custom photo. I'm a big fan of pixel art myself. If you like Lego, paint by numbers, or pixel art, this may be for you. Once you buy the Mosabrick constructor, you go into their app or site and pick a photo you want pixelated. Since I Paint Small Things is all about miniatures, I chose a picture of something I made. The Ogren is a very photogenic fellow, so I went with him. Then you get an email with the instructions and all you gotta do is start assembling the picture. I've noticed that every picture they have is of a couple or a family who probably worked on it together. And since I'm very much alone, I did this all myself, which took a rather long time, as I fit it into chill time when I could. Make sure to check out the Mosabrick site if you're interested. I love how it turned out. Alright, now on to painting the defense force, which includes this handsome ogre. I first painted the coats and pants with Huge Mini's smoke gray. Next, I painted all the armor with Nebula Orange. Orange is a typically difficult paint to work with, but it's one of my favorite colors. I ended up doing two thin coats of this. Then I painted all the gloves with warm brown, and the backpack, belt, straps, and pouches with either Skeleton Horde or Snakebite Leather contrast paint. I painted the guns black. I also thinned down the black and painted their goggles. Painted the medic's face, but I'll make a separate tutorial on painting faces when I get more confident in my face painting skills. Then with white, I painted a stripe on all the helmets. I also added a white cross on the medic's shoulder pad and stripes on the ogren's shoulder pads. Adding stripes like this adds a ton in my opinion. I added a white base coat anywhere that was going to be glowing. Oh my god. Next was all the metal. I used metal color steel and copper as well as huge mini silver from their new airbrush line. I finished any remaining bits that I couldn't batch paint before, like the bottles on the medic's backpack. The final base coating step was adding blue lagoon airbrush paint to the plasma guns. With all them base coated, it was time for washes. I washed the cloth, 
guns, and metal with Nuln oil. And all the brown stuff with Agrax Earthshade. Then, as always, it was time to highlight everything with the base coat mixed with white or off-white. I then made scratches in the armor by making lines and dots of orange mixed with white, and then black underneath. Before doing the OSL and varnishing, I glued the minis onto their bases. The one downside to resin is that it can be very brittle. If you end up painting the base and model separately, as I typically do, there's always the risk of the feet snapping off or in half. Our Olgrin was unlucky and ended up with a section of the sole of his shoe ripped off. Normally, I like to cover snapped off toes and such with a grass tuft, but since he was standing on something flat, I used a little roll of green stuff to reconstruct the sole of his shoe. I'm actually really surprised at how well this turned out. It helps leaving the green stuff to cure for about an hour before using it, so it doesn't stick to everything. Then I painted the whole sole to match. OSL was the last thing to do. I used huge minis airbrush paints for this, and some ink. I then took a white oil wash I made and let it flow into the recesses to make the source of the light extra bright. I painted the rims black, and helped create separation between parts, like between the cuff and the arm of the ogren, with a little null oil. And the planetary defense force was done. Once again, huge thanks to Moserbrick. It's a really unique art piece that'll look right in place in the workspace. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. Consider checking out my Buy Me a Coffee if you're willing to support the cause and want your name on a wall in graffiti. Comment down below with any feedback or suggestions. Alright. Bye-bye.